Oh, the back of the crack, bro. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry you had to like, see that. Uh, sorry, guys. Oh, no, man. It happens. Oh, that's disgusting. Hey YouTube fam, this is Robert with Coastal GX. As you can see, this is not the East Cut. This time around, this weekend, we're gonna spend it at Falcon State Park. Yeah, that is Falcon uh, Lake, right here with me. Uh, it is a Saturday morning. I decided to do something different. After all, we're always trying to do something different in this uh, channel. It's get up, get out, do something, right? So, we decided, you know what? We're gonna give it a try, we're gonna give Falcon State Park a try. It's beautiful weather. It's just perfect. Uh, so people that are accompanying me, David and his son, Ezra from uh, Overland Nomad slash Three Point Slow gang. We're also gonna have other friends joining us. Uh, some of them are already here. And some of them are gonna be staying the night. Some folks are not. Uh, they're just gonna stay for the day and take off a little later. What I'm doing right now is I'm exploring this area. I've never been out here really taking it seriously to uh, camp or fish or anything like that. I did bring the, the solo skiff uh, a few weeks ago and I really enjoyed it. I really liked hanging out here. So I wanted to come out here and give it a go. See if uh, we can uh, throw in some, cast some lines in there and uh, do a little fishing but it's more than just fishing it's actually trying to reconnect with mother nature here and and uh, just have a good time unfortunately my kids weren't able to make it so I'm flying solo this weekend pretty much uh, but not really solo because I do have my friends with me so I'm looking forward to spending some time with them and uh, let's see how it goes Okay guys, it's almost noon time and I'll be honest with you, we really haven't done much. We've been doing a little talking, we've been doing a little setting up. I got my Gazelle T4 tent. I have uh, Griff over here, he's got his uh, setup, very unique setup, never seen that before. Of course, I'm sure you guys are familiar with uh, David's uh, Overland Nomad's uh, little uh, trailer setup from his videos. We got the FJ Cruiser from Brian. And we have our buddy Mario over there. He, we're gonna kind of keep it a little mobile because he's got a rooftop tent. So that's probably the fastest or one of the fastest setups, you know, uh, that, that anyone around here has. So we're gonna go and give it a try. We're gonna go and try to cast and get some live bait so we can do some fishing finally. Mario right here. He's like, check it out. Coyote. Coyote up there. That's amazing. Oh, that oh, was that a nice, nice one, bro. If there was something there, they're mine.
okay. That was alright. Disgusting. Ugh. No human should be subjected to that, bro. <laughs> there's another coyote. We're at a totally different part of the park, and there's a coyote just chilling. Walking along the bank, way over there. I don't know if you can see him, but uh, very interesting. He looks pretty healthy to me. Looks like a bigger coyote. Meanwhile, we're gonna we're gonna give the fishing a try because we've been wasting a lot of time. Okay guys, here with David, Ezra. Ezra already caught something. He caught those prescription glasses. You got <laughs> you got the you got the glasses with the los lentes? Yeah, you got them? Okay, good deal. We could probably uh, trade them in for, for 50 bucks or something like that. <laughs> here it goes, man. This is supposed to be uh, the one for whatever, because I'm not even picky at this point. Let's see what happens. I don't know what I'm doing here, guys. I'm used to, I'm used to uh, fishing the salt water now, and I barely learned that throughout the course of the year. And uh, I could say I'm not, can't call myself Mr. Fisherman here, but I will give it a try here. So we're casting out for that. What I'm trying to see is if uh, we can get uh, we can get some sort of uh, catfish or something that would be edible uh, for the camp, so we can have some some surf to go along with the turf. Okay, okay, I think I broke a record today. This is a record. I don't think anyone anyone has ever caught a smaller fish on a lure if you think i'm kidding check this out this is crazy wow how the hell did that happen <laughs> Yeah, I got it back, but damn it, dude. That was a close one. Okay, I already lost. I broke two lures and I lost one. And this is another one that I'm about to lose here. What's the worst part? The worst part that is that the lure doesn't even belong to me. These are my friend Mark's lures that he loaned me. I'm so sorry, Mark. I am so sorry. Ugh. I decided to give fishing a break since all I was doing was losing Mark's lures. Where you at? Where you been? 
You've been catching fish, haven't you? I've been catching fish. Woo! That's all I do, baby. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on, You ready? I'm Robert, man. Robert, Tony, man. Nice to meet you, Tony. What are you checking out, Dave? So, one thing, that I, one thing that I love about this park is I love mountains, and I'm always amazed that from here you can see the mountains all the way over there in Mexico, and you can, you can you really see them at sunset. So, right now you can easily see their shadow or their. You can see them. And I got some binoculars, but I think it's amazing because the valley, it's so flat, you know? And I literally, when I see a little hill, I'm like, oh, cool, a little hill. <laughs> like some sort of elevation, but. We're just so close to the mountains in Mexico. We're just so close, but it's just the river and obviously another country. So from here you can see the mountain range over there. It's pretty cool. And uh, hopefully you can see it with the dark fish. <laughs> I'm not sure, I'm not, yeah. Okay. okay guys, so the fishing has pretty much sucked today. What a surprise, right? But I'll tell you what, here at Coastal GX, we always guarantee you're gonna have a good meal. And we're gonna start off with some cream cheese uh, jalapeno poppers here. Apparently everybody uh, got together and everybody enjoys these and everybody brought a pack. So we're gonna start, this is gonna be the appetizer. But we got a little surprise for you. You know, you know how we do it. Okay, I'm sorry to disappoint, but we didn't bring any uh, T-bones, but we're gonna have to settle for this uh, filet mignon. <laughs> what do you got going here, Mario? Some delicious swine. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry to say, I totally forgot, but Probably the dish of the night ended up being this right here. Whatever's left over. Gumbo. It was delicious. Unfortunately, I didn't get to shoot much of the camping activity in the evening. We told stories by the campfire and went to sleep shortly after. Hey guys, so it's day two, Sunday morning. Let me tell you, last night I was so tired. All that walking to the lake uh, shore to do fishing and casting and man, it, it just wears you out. Uh, we had a great dinner last night. Uh, I actually didn't catch a lot of it on video, but Please believe me when I tell you that it was one of, one of the best dinners we've ever had camping anytime. It was delicious. And uh, man, it was really cold. It was colder than what I expected overnight. The skies were very clear. Maybe that had something to do with it. Um, but I was rolled up in that, uh, in that sleeping bag and I just didn't feel like moving. I didn't feel like waking up. It's uh, seven. Uh, a.m. right now and some of the camp friends are already fishing or trying their luck at fishing. I'm probably going to join them in a little bit but first I want to have my coffee. I want to you know make sure that everything is squared away before I leave the camp and go give that another try. God that was good last night wasn't it? Oh it was Man. great. It was great. And, and this morning you are cooking? Uh, we're going to do ham and eggs this morning. And ham and egg tacos. So I've got to be a bunch of tacos in there. Probably do some pancakes too, just in case anybody wants any. So, yeah. Can't ever tell. We got kids around. Jonathan? We don't suffer around here, man. We don't suffer. We know how to camp. We know how to camp. Amen. <laughs> Welcome to Casa de Fodic was my screens and two ponchos <laughs> and the front seat goes all the way back so it's not ideal but I didn't feel like bringing tents or sleeping on the ground this time so it worked it was good I'm awake <laughs> all 
All right, Mario. This is your setup right here, huh? Yes, sir. Talk to me. A Yakima Skyrise tent, small. So it's a two-person tent. Got it used for 500 bucks. All I had was a pillow, one sleeping bag. Slept all night perfectly. Roof rack I made myself for my bed rack for $70. Homemade. Very sturdy. How'd you sleep, John? Pretty good. This is my first time trying out this tent cot. And I'm pretty surprised at how, how warm it was and comfortable it was. Welcome to my crib. Do you do you want to come in here or what? Uh, sure. All right, cool. Here, there's a ladder here, and then you grab onto. You will feel the the thing go back because of the, the trailer. Because of my weight. No, I because can't. of my weight. <laughs> <laughs> no. Grab on. There we go. Hey, don't don't look at my butt. <laughs> Watch your head. There we go. Shoot, that was not <laughs> friendly. Hi. Uh. Hi Ezra. I'm sorry. <laughs> there you go. All right, man. Talk to me. This is our uh, camper. We got a. Uh, right now, I'm not. It's like it's like we're going. I don't know. It's like moving like crazy in here because it's not stabilized right now. But mm -hmm. so we got a sink. Yeah. I think there's some water still in there. It's all manual. There's no um, battery on. Like the, I don't have electricity in here. Basically, mm -hmm. I just run on l the lights and everything. Um, like this stuff is all battery operated. So let me, let me show you this. You can't really see them right now, but um, these lights are great. You can get them at Sam's for like a, a pack of four for like 10 bucks at Sam's. And, and if you get all, if you get more of them, they all connect to the same remote. So I have like a ton of them. Anyways, you got sink. This stove is an old, the original stove. I don't use it. It's still got like this original clipping that was on here from the previous previous owner. So I left it on there. <laughs> the far side or what is that? Is it some sort of uh this is a old newspaper Brian. comic. Olsen and Kelso. Wow. <laughs> See right there? And then um I don't know, we got drawers, you know, all my cooking stuff. So what's great about this camper is that whenever you go camping, there's really no packing. The truck, like the camper, is always ready to go. So I just pack the food and, and water and make sure everything's restocked, and that's it. We just go. So that's the good part. Um, we got uh, Ezra's stuff, obviously. Ezra got got to have his uh, stuff to play. This is a little uh, kind of couch I made for here. We got more storage. We got your. Uh, so this is obviously it pops up, right? So got windows. You got the bed. The bed is really comfortable. It's um, memory foam. I don't know what size it is. I can't tell you that. I have no idea. But um, it's super comfy. I've uh, slept on it different many places. Big Bend, Hill Country, the beach here. Um, it's it's awesome. It's awesome. And, and and David, it's mm -hmm. you're you know I've seen it in your videos in the past, mm -hmm. but you know it's you camp a lot with Ezra mm -hmm. with your son. You've been doing that. I mean. It, it's never held you back mm -hmm. you know a lot of people don't want to go somewhere they don't have the patience that they say or mm -hmm. you know they're scared that something might happen to their kid yeah you know how if if you have a, a dad out there or a mom or somebody you know parents that have mm -hmm. children and still want to come out and enjoy the outdoors mm -hmm. any tips anything that you've seen that's important because uh, I see that you have coloring books for him yeah um, you're prepared yeah, I think one important thing, and I know a lot of people are going to get mad, is um, I do have, and we didn't use it this trip, like, we didn't use it yesterday, and I'm thankful, like, I, I really didn't even tell him, but, you know, the the T-A-B-L-E-T, -E that's what you kind of always carry with for little kids, so they can have watch videos and, and stuff, but Ezra's already going to be five in a few months, so he's been camping, if you watch my videos, he's been camping since he was, like, he could barely walk, um, so he's gotten used to it and um so keep it keep the kids entertained snacks are important like always have snacks because so, they're always going to be hungry and that kind of keeps him busy but by the age of four and a half like he is um he's kind of pretty pretty good you know he kind of does his own thing and he's aware of the surroundings um but yeah i would say the most important thing is have snacks and toys don't forget the toys because it's important you need, they need to do something and 
and just spend time with them you know don't you know when you bring them out remember they're gonna they're gonna remember everything I know Ezra remembers a lot of things so it's important and then plus you know take video pictures of it it's gonna be great memories so yeah absolutely absolutely well you know thank you so yeah. much for uh, giving me a tour <laughs> right Ezra boom <laughs> <laughs> so Griff you have a very unique setup over here uh, even though the shape of the of your tent is remind uh, will remind me of a certain something <laughs> yeah yeah um, I, it's a new tent I just picked it up at Walmart actually a couple of years ago when they discontinued them and uh, I hadn't used it yet I wanted to try it out here close to home before I took it out anywhere farther and uh, it worked out great it's easy to set up uh, big room on the inside as you can see I've got a, a queen size bed in there um, kind of a mess right now but that's because I slept on it <coughs> it worked very well very well Will you uh, don't answer his questions you gonna answer my question oh yes sir why why did you commit the crime well uh, <laughs> You know, is is this going time. on YouTube? That's a lot of prison time, sir. Oh man! <laughs> Why did you kill? I did. I didn't kill Harvey Weinstein. Uh, no, no. I'm. Do you I'm think? Th do you think that using that tent is cultural appropriation? Oh, <laughs> That's no, worse I, than I, any I, crime. Yeah. That's worse than any Elizabeth crime. Elizabeth Warren told me it was okay. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so I have Pocahontas approval. Oh. <laughs> And as you guys know, I, I use the Gazelle T4 tent. It's very easy to set up. It's easy to tear down. It's very roomy. And uh, yeah, I use a, a, a queen size uh, arrow bed mattress and it inflates in a few seconds so fast. And uh, because I use a, a CPAP, you know, I must have some sort of uh, electricity um an electrical source so i have my generator it's very quiet so it's not intrusive i do however try to be considerate and uh kind of put it away or place it in a spot where it's not going to interfere or, or bother the other uh camp members or any other people that are trying to sleep at night it, it is one of those silent one of those silent type of um of generators so yeah it's not too bad um sure you've seen it the quality of this tent is amazing guys the quality is amazing this is not your flimsy tent you can tell with the zippers you can tell with the quality of it if you're gonna be i'm being sincere with this if you're gonna be doing a lot of camping and you're gonna be going to certain places and sometimes you don't want to worry about this or that um this is worth the investment it's a little more expensive than your average walmart tent it's a little more expensive than what you're going to find at academy uh but these folks make uh great products they have um they have for three people they even have one that's larger than this one um but for me for my purposes this is so awesome the winds were kind of strong last night and i was uh i didn't have any issues at all I didn't have any issues at all no tears no rips no anything and um, when uh, if you got dirt in there or sand or whatever you can rip off the the floor and vacuum it and it's good to go okay guys so we're just leaving Star County I, I wanted to share a little bit about our experience at the Falcon State Park campsite uh, from this weekend. Um, there's a lot of pros here, overwhelming pros. It's it's very different from the East Cut. Um, first of all, it's a controlled environment. There's there's security there. They got a park ranger. There's a lot of rules to abide by. Um, and there's a lot of facilities, a lot of resources. Uh, for example, the place where we were staying, uh, it had running water, it had a trash can, it had a picnic table, 
It had a canopy, okay? And, uh, I mean, they're paved roads, so it's not like you're gonna go off-roading. You you know, one, uh, Griff, one of our, one of the guys that was uh, joining us, the guy, the guy showed up with a Toyota Camry, okay? He was good to go, all right? So, you know, you, didn't, you don't have to bring anything special if you're gonna come over. Um, they also have other campsites with uh, electricity, sewage, uh, like I said, running water. Uh, you know, the place where we were staying had uh, public uh, restrooms. Uh, they had showers there for us. Um, it's, it's very different from the East Cut travels. Uh, it's just a lot easier, very family friendly. I'm not saying that East Cut isn't family friendly. I mean, you've seen me and you've seen several people, you know, take their families out there. It's just a little rougher, okay? Uh, oh, by the way, at Falcon State Park, I have Sprint as a, as a service provider. And, uh, you know, any of you guys that own, that have Sprint, you know, you're probably gonna realize, you know, just how difficult that signal can be at certain places. Well, I mean, I had full service out there, and that was pretty neat. I don't have full service at the East Cut. I'm not trying to do a, a straight up comparison to the East Cut, by the way. Obviously, we're talking apples and oranges here, all right? Um, the fishing part, that would be the negative in a way. It's not, it's, it's getting to the fishing spot from our location at least the spot that we wanted to get to. They have trails and it's pretty cool. We saw some live, some coyotes out there and you know, it was it was pretty cool, man. Quail, all sorts of uh, uh, wildlife uh, that we were able to see out there. And, and that, was, that was a lot of fun. But in order for us to get to the lake or get to that spot where we wanted to fish, uh, man, that was like, I don't know, between 300, 500 yards, maybe more. It's a good thing because you know when you get you get your exercise in, and you know I, I know we all need to, need to exercise a little bit more. But if you're going to be carrying more than one uh, more than one uh, uh, fishing rod, or you're going to be carrying a cooler, you're going to be carrying all this other stuff. It's going to be a pain. It's a pain. So if you're going to be heading out there. Remember, you cannot drive your vehicle in some of these some of these trails. You can't drive your vehicle, but maybe if you bring um, one of those little uh, wagons, little little red wagon with the little wheels, and to help you carry your stuff, that's a good idea. Kind of like the way a lot of people do at the beach anyway, to take their stuff, umbrellas, chairs, whatever you need, to be by the water, right at the water's edge, so you can be doing your fishing. Um, what else can I say? Yeah, well, I live in McAllen and it's still kind of far away, you know. Uh, so the drive, you still have to deal with the drive, you know, but that's kind of part of it. You want to get away from from uh, uh, the norm, from your neighborhood and uh, go and explore something different. So get up, get out, do something. Were we able to accomplish that? Yeah, I think we did. guys. We're already pretty much almost getting very close to that 1,000 mark. We're about to uh, uh, hit 900. Thank you, thank you so much, okay? Without you, you know, we can't keep, we, we won't be able to keep going. I, the love and support uh, that, I've, that I've gotten from a lot of folks, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll see you out on, on, on the street or whatever and, and you holler at me, hey, thank you so much. Uh, I hope to bring you a lot more content uh, in, in the coming in the coming uh, weeks. Uh, definitely try to, to uh, upload as much as I can. Uh, what else can I tell you? Share, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you in the next one.